This past weekend, the national security advisors of South Korea, the United States, and Japan met in Seoul at a time when the stakes are high on the Korean Peninsula. Our foreign affairs correspondent Pei Yunji has an analysis of what it means for regional security and supply chains. Four months after the historic trilateral summit at Camp David between South Korea, the U.S. and Japan, national security advisors from the three countries have agreed to new initiatives to better respond to North Korea's illicit cyber activities, which are used to fund the regime's nuclear and missile development. We've also launched new trilateral initiatives to counter the threats posed by the DPRK, from its cybercrime and cryptocurrency money laundering to its reckless space and ballistic missile tests. They also agreed to bolster defense cooperation through a real-time information sharing arrangement on North Korea missile launches. The three countries plan to start this by the end of this month. I think the most important thing that came out of it is uh, continued uh, commitment to do uh, real-time intelligence sharing, which uh, has a very practical and significant impact uh, in times of emergency. The three officials also discussed North Korea's growing military cooperation with Russia and reaffirmed their efforts for the North's denuclearization. We reaffirmed North Korea's obligations to denuclearize and the prohibition of military cooperation under the UN Security Council resolutions on the North Korean issue. We also agreed to strengthen coordination among the three countries to ensure the thorough implementation of these obligations by the international community. Meanwhile, amid growing concerns about supply chain risks from China, they also discussed ways to strengthen economic cooperation. The three officials outlined their joint commitment to work together to finalize a new supply chain early warning system. An expert says the increased cooperation between South Korea, U.S. and Japan in opposition to North Korea, China and Russia is expected to last for some time, considering that China is providing full support to North Korea, even though Pyongyang continues to violate U.N. Security Council resolutions. This kind of a trend will, will be continued for a while, unless United States and China have uh, come up with some kind of a very comprehensive agreement between these two countries. 배은지 아리랑 뉴스